Snap bags are a cute and easy way to make storage for your needlework projects. I used Dollar Tree place mats and a Dollar Tree measuring tape to make this one in just a few minutes. In addition to your sewing machine and basic sewing supplies, you'll need a Dollar Tree cloth placemat. They seem to come up with a new line of these with every new seasonal collection. And I've seen them bring back the same ones from year to year. So if the seashore line is gone by the time you see this, check next year because they might have it again or they might have something even cuter. You'll also need an inexpensive metal tape measure. We're only going to cut about two feet off of this. So one of these will make many, many bags and they're $1.25 at the Dollar Tree, or Harbor Freight has coupons for them free with purchase quite frequently. Step one is going to be to fold down the top edge along the length of your placemat. We're doing this to make a channel for the tape measure that is going to create the snapping mechanism of our bag. It needs to be just wide enough that your tape measure will slide easily through. I eyeballed it, but reality is it's about two inches and then you want to stitch this about a quarter inch from this edge. This might be the point to look at the nice side of your placemat and decide if there's an up or down that you want your placemat to face. These don't seem to be directional. So Now we're going to fold our placemat in half, right sides together. I'm going to stitch down the folded edge because I want both sides of my bag to match and I'm going to do this about a half inch in from the edge. Cut two identical lengths of measuring tape. You want an, it just short enough to go through this channel with the half inch seam allowance on either edge. That for me worked out to about six inches. The tape is going to want to retract in back into that measure, so use a clip or something to hold it so it doesn't. I always wind up forgetting to do that and then breaking open the plastic to get it for my next project. And that makes a mess you could easily avoid. I probably don't need to tell you that you don't want to be cutting a metal tape measure with your good sewing scissors. Use an old craft pair and these little edges are sharp. I round them before using them and I make very sure to, that I throw away those little snippets because they can and will cut through your scum. We're going to slide these through all the way to the far end. We want the plain side, the side that curves towards you to be facing the line lining of the bag. So around the bottom edge and the side that you hadn't already sewed, then turn it right side out. In only a few minutes with no cutting unless you want to count the tape measure, no measuring since we eyeballed almost the entire thing, and no raw edges exposed, we have made a really cute little snap bag. I love these Dollar Tree place mats for making bags. The fabric is surprisingly durable and holds up well. I've also used two of them to make a bigger zipper bag version. I've got two more of the seashore ones because I think these would make a perfect match set, don't you? Thanks for watching. I'm Michelle. This is my Romantic Tangle.